hey guys what hope you are all doing good today today we'll be seeing how I uh, make pedestrian rigging to San Andreas a lot of people asked me how I made this pedestrian to San Andreas I got this model from GTA 4 the lost and the damned thank you for all the guys who subscribed my youtube channel um, more tutorials are coming right away if you're wondering um, okay so today as we continue uh, to rig a pedestrian to San Andreas it's very simple process if you know what you're actually doing so uh, to start off I just uh, have a software called 3ds max it's obvious that this software is used for most of the San Andreas uh, stuff and other game stuff as well so get the version of 3ds max it's absolutely free for students I'm not sure but one of a, one of my friends said it's free for students uh, I got this one from my office so um, it, never mind so um, so what first we need is the script uh, to import DFF uh, files to San Andreas so that's cams script I'll put up a link on the description please download it and uh, uh, install to 3ds max it's very uh, simple just have to copy the scripts into 3ds max uh, script folder and it will work uh, so after that uh, what you need is that uh, you need a model you can hack a model from a game or download it from uh, various websites but uh, I prefer hacking models for the uh, for letting you know what you are actually doing so that's easy and simple so uh, uh, what I have done is that I have attached the model skinned him and uh, everything is in place so what I need now is uh, a model from GTA San Andreas so I'm gonna import DFF using camps a script uh, import DFF choose the file from the original DFF of San Andreas uh, it's imported so um, I'm uh, gonna scale it to uh, match the size of the San Andreas this, this step is very important so make sure you do not mess up on this one and um, you can see the skin is a bit uh, actually a large failure so uh, I'm rotating it so make sure you just keep it in the right position as uh, you can so that you won't be having any bugs in the future so I'm gonna once again scale it scale it and move it up then let's see I guess now it's okay uh, I guess so yes it is and now I'm gonna slightly rotate it so match it yeah all right so uh, everything is in place and uh, he's right where I want him right so that sounded a bit gay I'm sorry <laughs> so um, everything is in, everything is in place right so uh, uh, I'm going to viewport to make sure that everything is correctly done so once again viewport gives you the best view to make sure that um, you don't have uh, any missing parts or anything basically so everything is great here so I'm uh, gonna um, now you can see there's uh, the legs and the uh, um, shoulders are not in the right place shoulders on the left arm and the right upper arms are not in the right place so I'm gonna select that bone uh, rotate and uh, rotate to San Andreas to fit it and you can see it's uh, okay that's fine actually so uh, I rotated it and I'm gonna do the same for the right hand and do okay and everything is in place here and now the leg bones uh, once again as I said you wanna make sure that every bone is in the right place alright so make sure it just and also make it make a point that it comes in between the bones so it'll be easy for you at the time of bug fixing so there should be a but it should look like this exactly so the bone should not look like this but sh but should look like this so I'm gonna rotate a bit not by much rotate and there we go and as it looks like everything is in place uh, sometimes it would not be so well, you want to make sure that everything yeah, as I said before yeah you can see it's it's not very good on the uh, right hand of the uh, the orange is the uh, a pet we, we want to import to San Andreas so you could uh, either rotate and check if that's affecting yes it does uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna move this a bit back and rotate now and now you can see uh, a small bit I'm sorry mm, okay 
now I think now it's in the right place alright nothing has been uh, been a problem so also you could always do this it does not affect any of your progress so you can always move it like this so it will be less buggy at the time of exporting so so uh, rotate the bone how it wants to fit so so you can see uh, the San Andreas model and uh, my model are in the exact place right so so what you want to do is uh, select the San Andreas model skin mesh uh, DFF IO I'm just using the camps script and uh, I'm gonna export it click on skip call this is an important step click it and hit bone skin export and choose a place to export make sure that you're make in mind that you're exporting the San Andreas pedestrian not your pedestrian you did not attach it yet so um, just name it whatever you want like I uh, want like like uh, um, test just just name it as test and it's been exported to your desktop so uh, this step is very important don't skip it it will look buggy if you don't uh, do this so I'm gonna delete the San Andreas uh, pedestrian just I just hit uh, delete button and also I'm gonna delete the bones just delete everything you have with San Andreas and once again you just have your mesh and nothing else this is important if you skip this step most of the time your pet will be flying away from your screen so make sure you don't ignore it and since we are importing it the pet will be on a different position so we just have to reposition uh, the pet San Andreas pet the test DFF which I exported I'm exporting importing it once again I'm sorry and you can see as I said before it's not in the same position so it's it's not very hard to do this step because we already had have been here this place so once again rotate it to where you want it and there you go um, it, let, it, it, it looks a bit good so so when I rotate it so but make sure that you do this exactly the way you did before this step is also important as before so make sure that you don't mess up with this and you can see it's been not that problematic to me so I wanna once again make this guy go into his place and also I wanna make sure that his arms are in the right place and also make sure you do everything you verify this step in wireframe so that you'll get it get what you're actually doing that you can see what your bones are actually here um, so everything is in place uh, and you can see this uh, the pair is slightly moved from the last position so I'm once again gonna do it and that's it so everything is in perfect also make sure that you save your progress in between or you just have to do this once again so um, you can see that everything is in the right place picture perfect right so uh, click your uh, I'm sorry I'm really sorry click San Andreas pedestrian editable mesh vertex you see a lot of blue dots here right hit control a CTRL a which selects all of the blue dots and it all of them will look mm, a bit red now right so uh, you wanna click attach hit attach once choose um, you just have to select uh, the uh, the uh, model which you have hit uh, attach and um, hit it on the uh, model you want so it will ask you like this uh, most of the people do match material IDs to this they did not affected me in any way so I'm just gonna hit ok now you see a lot of blue dots and red dots right so I'm gonna hit delete once and that's it there we go so everything is perfect if you click this DFF IO click this one skip call bone skin export WM I don't, know, I don't know so just export this okay you can see the DFF has been exported now comes the TXT part most of the tutorials are to be honest none does not explain about TXT a voice tutorial I mean so it's very simple to do this a lot of people have problems in this tutorial so uh, um, we uh, remember the place when I asked you to open WMCR.txt just have to do this once again just uh, import 
the uh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt but uh, I'm also using TXT workshop it can be obtained on uh, Google I'll just put up a link to download TXT workshop so since everything is in place I'm um, I wanna um, make sure that uh, you have the skins right so uh, uh, I got everything here so uh, the TXT workshop has opened w1 wmycr.txt so uh, I'm gonna import something here so I'm gonna import the uh, textures of uh, my pedestrian the pedestrian which I made uh, I got from GTA 4 uh, I'm gonna import uh, a part of him uh, a skin actually to be honest uh, first I'll start with the boots you can see the boots has been imported. make sure you do this hit alpha is used you just you don't have to check it but if you have a alpha layer inserted in your skin make sure you hit alpha is used else you don't have to hit compressed else the txt will be in a huge large ass size and most of the time it will be bugged so hit compressed name it as boots you just have to do this uh, else your your skin won't work so make sure what you have here been named there uh, you, uh, to be honest or to be precise this works with how you get your model so I got my model on uh, from the last and the damned uh, I renamed it and applied it on my skin like I uh, got a texture file I uh, put it on his uh, boots and I said it's B-O-O-T-S so I'm just doing the same here I have imported the uh, boots and renamed the file as boots control insert will create a duplicate of the texture so once you can click on import I have a file called face is face textures and I'm gonna import the face texture and name it as face make sure DX1 is compressed and um, once again I'm gonna duplicate repeat the step on how many uh, textures you have used on your uh, model so I guess I have used output copy so uh, I will be needing it uh, uh, I wanna make sure that I have this yes that's output copy so uh, so I just want to rename it outfit as copy and once again control insert I guess this is the last one so let's see what we have uh, yes it's the pants so pants once again I'm importing the pants and naming it as pants save the txt file and uh, uh, close it and use img manager to uh, import it and uh, import it to your SAN address and it will work perfectly so you want to make sure everything is in the right place so uh, let's see you should want to program files uh, rockstar games and city SAN address and models and uh, gta3.img so uh, find this to it's bugged okay txt okay okay WMYRCXT. Okay. Just have to import these files, and uh, it will work. On the next tutorial, I'm going to do right now. I'll be showing how you can fix the bugs on the skins, and it will work perfectly as well. Please, uh, if you like my tutorials, or if you have any questions regarding it, please leave a comment. And uh, if you like this video, please give uh, give it a thumbs up, or you can favorite it as well, and share it with your friends, knowledge as well, and. Uh, uh, if you like my uh, videos very much, if you want to know how you get models from the internet or if you want to know how to hack games like Skyrim, I have posted a tutorial on how you hack Skyrim to get models from that game or if you want to get m models from Mortal Kombat game, there's a separate tutorial on that. So follow those tutorials to get models and uh, if you like my videos really uh, very much, you can always hit subscribe to get updates of me so I'll be posting on how you're going to fix bugs on the skin Th that is an important step as well but uh, it's not required but um, to make your skin look very beautiful just to follow that tutorial as well so make sure that you follow the tutorial and um, before you complete your project and uh, post it on the internet so uh, next is coming up on that uh, for now I'll just be saying goodbye thank you very much for your support you you guys been very great thank you very much have a wonderful day